Oo nga, sandali. Kamo nagaano ako. Nagagawa ng isang... Nagawa ulit ako ng isang ano. Ganun pa rin. Ayan, meron na. Kapasok na si Kim. Ay. Ginamit ko kasi yung isa kanina. Kaya mali. Okay na. Okay na po. O nga eh, pwede na pumasok. Dapat wala akong waiting room. Hindi ko pa nakaayos eh. Hindi lang. O oh, ngayon na nandun na. Ay, na. Okay na. Nakakaleche. High blood na high blood ka pa rin. Nga kayo mag-connect dalawa. Ang takit na sa tech. Wap. Baka. Ay, ang pare naman ng paga na ni Ruby sa buhok na. Si kabuti talaga oh, nagsasalita, hindi naman nakapagsalita ang kabuti na to. Oo, oo ba naririnig ko? Kabuti. Kasi kabuti ng tubig. And then it does some members in terms of the group. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Bakit kailangan pa dati lagi ng meeting password? Dati naman kay Reptet, hindi na kailangan ng meeting password. Hindi ko pa na ayos. Hindi ko pa na ayos. Hindi pa ako pamilyat eh. Pero naayos ko na. Copy-paste nga yung ano. Copy-paste ako. Rhea, kumain ka ng kaano. Hindi yung ganyan. Hindi pa ako nakain sila, Kuya. Rev? Oo. Oh. Baka po pwede natin tanggalin yung mga hotline sa ilalim ng Zoom. What do you Masyado mean? po atang mahaba na. Oh, pwede ba? Pwede naman gayong ganun. Tanggalin. Pwede naman tanggalin, no? Oo nga. Bakit ang dami nung ano yung mga mobile ibang bansa? Ayan, yun na lang kape. Yun. Ay, nag-post na din po pala si Shell. Sige, Shell, pakipost na lang. Sa dalpiyong sa'yo. Paki-paste lang ako. Ito. Step. Ayan na si Amon. Wala, ang dami natin ngayon na. Ah. Dami-dami natin ngayon na. Ah. Wait ha, i-broadcast ko to ha. 
sa Facebook sa members and friends of the LGBTS. Uh, ano kayo ng papel at ballpen daw, ha? Para mag-note kayo. Kailangan yon sa mga gustong matuto. Nadali lang amon. Wala pa. Wala akong ballpen ko sa tabi ko. Get your notes. Note. Uh, ballpen daw at saka papel. Oh, in five. Four, three, two. I wait. Lalagyan ko ng title. Ano? Creative Freedom 101 by Amon Wanson. Okay. In five, four, three, two, one. Go live. Right. Is it my turn? Uh... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I think so. Go, go, uh, Papa Amon. It's our turn. Go now. Ah, yeah, now. Ang daming waiting room. Oh, ang daming gusto. Pakimit yung lahat ha pag magsasalita na. All right. So, welcome sa ating live stream. Uh, nakikita niyo ba ako? Can you guys see me? Hello everyone. Welcome to our Mogoplasm live stream. My name is Amon Internationally, I'm known as Mogoplasm or Mogoplasm. I am the lead creative director of several corporations, including a... Um, what you call this? Freelancer, um, freelancer consultant. So, I mean, any company can hire me as a trip. Ko sila. As kapag di ko sila trip, hindi ko talaga sila um, I've designed so many products, so many to count, probably 500 already. And I have allowed companies to earn millions of pesos already. Sadly, wala ako nakuha may isang million sa mga kinita na yun. And some of them even treated me badly. Still, my love for design has remained. Um, right now, I'm gonna share with you some tips and techniques on how to begin your creative journey without breaking the bank. Ibig sabihin, without buying any software, without worrying kung meron kayong malakas na computer or whatsoever. So right now, magtitingin ako ng mga questions kung meron. Uh, Alright, wala pa namang questions. Hello everybody. So let's begin. To begin, I'm gonna show you a, a website na pwedeng buksan sa iOS, pwedeng buksan sa Windows, at pwedeng buksan sa Chrome OS. So itong website na to ay tinatawag na uh, Photopea. Some of you have already uh, shared your notions about already experiencing kung ano yung photopia. Um, let me type sa chat box kung ano yung spelling ng photopia. www.photopea.com Alright. I have included yung website. Now, ano yung scope ng ating workshop? Our workshop is... Okay, so... 
Wait a man. Pakimute naman kayo. Pakimute. Meron ako. Meron pang maingay eh. Pakimute. Please. Alright guys, can you see in Photopia? Right, so this is the Photopia uh, interface. So sa Photopia interface, kung makapansin nyo, kamukhang, 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 kamukha nyo talaga si Adobe Photoshop. And we are praying na sana hindi kasuhan ni Photoshop si Photopia. Kung hindi, wala tayong magagamit. But still, Photopia is surviving. So, yeah, hey, matututo tayo mag-edit. Anyways, ang tutuwa ko sa inyo are principles na magagamit ninyo. Not just in photo manipulation, not just in illustration, but also in video editing. So, anything visual ay magagamit ninyo itong mga principles. So, to begin, sino sa inyo ang nakakakita ng screen ko dito na Photopia? Isang kamay. Sino hindi? Alright. So, this is the Photopia screen. As you can see, ito yung iba-ibang panels. Kamukhang-kamukha niya talaga yung Photoshop. Meron tayo yung file na pwede kang gumawa ng new files. Meron ka dito yung edit. Makikita mo dito lahat ng operations like yung cut, copy, copy merge, paste, at yung pinaka-importante sa lahat, itong retransform na to. At makikita ninyo may mga shortcut keys na pwede kayong gamitin sa inyong PC. So, um, does anyone here, is anyone here having uh, audio issues na hindi nyo marinig yung boses ko? Is my voice crystal clear naman? I hope it's crystal clear. If not, kindly... Uh, Help me notice it this uh, chat room. Thank you very much. Now, um, we have here another important layer panel over at the bottom right-hand corner. This is the layers panel. And to begin, let me demonstrate a, uh, how the layers panel is being used in conjunction with one of the buttons here, which is the move tool. The shortcut for the move tool is letter V, as in victory. All right. So, to begin, una sa lahat, ang unang tatandaan ninyo palagi is kung ano yung keyword, take note of this. Number one, sulat nyo sa creative journey pipeline ninyo. Number one is what we call the aspect ratio. Let me spell it out for you. So, aspect ratio. Sabihin na natin na yung aspect ratio is yung relationship ng ng length at saka ng width ng project ninyo. Okay? Very important. It's just like planning on building a house and then the first thing that you need to know is gano'ng kalaki yung lote na pagtatayuan nyo ng bahay. Ano mangyayari kapag hindi nyo alam yung size ng lote na pagtatayuan nyo ng bahay? Let's say you're planning on building a 500 square meter na bachelor's pad sa gitna ng in the middle of nowhere, and then ang di mo alam is 100 hectares pala yung lote na meron ka. So, ang nangyari is, konti lang yung na-utilize mo dun sa lote na napakalaki. Kumbaga sa yung design, ang mangyari, kapag nakita mo yung yung general view ng project mo at ganun kaliit lang yung nagawa mo, hindi mo na-maximize yun. Or kapag zinoom out ng zinoom out, hindi na makikita yung mga text na sinulat nyo. So, the first thing na kailangan yung tandaan is yung aspect ratio or yung, yung length and width ratio natin. So, ano ba yung iba-ibang length and width ratio na kinoconsider natin? Una, iisipin natin kung ano yung purpose or intention ng design. Dalawa lang naman yung naiisip ko ng intention or purpose. Number one, i-display ba yan sa isang screen? Or number two, ipiprint ba yan? Alright, remember. Ano yung intent or purpose? Yun yung number two. Number one is yung size or yung aspect ratio. Number two is yung purpose or yung intention. Now, we're gonna ask ourselves, is it, for, is it for print or is it for display? So right now, we're going to design something 
na madi-display sa social media page ng LGBTQ community. Okay ba yan? So right now, ang goal natin is social media and digital nomad. Hindi natin ipiprint. So remember, sa, sa, ano, sa display, we need to always remember, number one, ano yung aspect ratio ng screen. So sulat nyo to ha. Ano yung aspect ratio? Ito yung relationship ulit ng length at saka ng width. Now, ano ang basic unit of measurement? Basic unit me of measurement ng isang digital project. Ang basic unit of measurement ng ating digital project is yung tinatawag na um, drum roll please. Nakikita nyo ba yan guys? Nakikita nyo ba yung sinulat ko? Kaboom! Pixels. So, the pixel is the most basic unit of measurement sa mga designs natin. Sometimes, the pixel is also known as control Oopsie, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Control, Alt, T. We shortcut kanina. Sometimes the pixel is known as DPI. So DPI stands for dots per inch. Right. So, so DPI stands for dots per inch. Nakikita nyo pa rin ba yung screen ko? Now, Remember, there is a very critical difference pagdating sa ilan ang pixel density or dots per DPI ng mga print projects versus yung mga display projects. Iuulit ko, yung display, ito yung lalabas sa mga projector, lalabas sa mga higanting television, lalabas sa cellphone, or lalabas sa laptop screen ninyo. Alright? So, um, and ito mga standard definitions natin, ha? Uh, standard measurements. Kapag print, remember, ang DPI natin is always starting at 300 DPI. Right? So, 300... Oh my goodness. Sorry about that. <laughs> Control of T. Right. So, as you can see, medyo nalito pa ako. So, um, so print is 300 DPI. Tandaan nyo yung palagi. You have to memorize this. And then the display is, is always the magic number 72 DPI. Alright. So again, ang pixel density natin palagi kapag pipili tayo ng project size, kapag print yan, palaging 300. What do you mean print? Ay, um, Master Amon, papa-edit namin sa'yo yung mga wedding photos namin. May plano kaming i-print ito sa aming album. Puro mga 3R at saka 2R. So, ibig sabihin, mag -e edit ako ng photos, pero ipapasok ko sila sa document na ang display, ang dots per inch niya is 300, hindi 72. Let me demonstrate sa inyo yung difference ng 72 dots per inch at saka 300 dots per inch. First, we're going to look for a image. So, uh, woman, stock, photo, white, background. Right. So, we're gonna use an example of a picture. So, ganito ako maghanap ng image. Gagawin ko is pupunta ako sa Google Image, pupunta ako sa Tools, pupunta ako sa Size, tapos pipindutin ko tong large, hindi any size. So, mahukuha ko palagi, it's a high-resolution image. Alright? So, probably, mga 300 dpi ang mahukuha natin or 72. Sometimes, ito, check natin to ha. Um, let's see yung babae na hindi puti yung kulay ng damit. Hmm. Problemada. Problemada. Ito. So, copy natin siya. Copy image, tapos file, new. The FB cover. Una sa lahat, tatandaan natin is yung 
aspect ratio o yung length and width relationship. So, ang pinili natin ay galing sa preset na FD page cover, galing sa social tab. And then, ang display natin, remember, it's 72 kasi display lang siya. Hindi natin ipiprint si Facebook. <laughs> so, gagawin natin 72 muna. Great. At saka background natin is white. So I think this is good enough. This is a good start. And then we're gonna paste it. So na paste na natin by pressing Control V. And then makikita natin yung yung um, picture na to. And then if we're gonna zoom in, makikita nyo na jagged na yung mga pixels natin. Kasi 72 dots per inch lang yung ginagawa niya. So ibig sabihin, Per 1 inch by 1 inch square ng screen, ang kaya niyang ipak sa 1 inch na yon ay 72 dots by 72 dots. So, yun yung grid na ginagawa natin. Now, 72 by 72 is how many dots? 72 times 72 equals, it's around 5,184. So, ito yung itsura ng isang document na may around 5,000 pixels sa isang inch. Imagine nyo pag-print nyo yan, tapos ganyan. Pag-print nyo yung, yung image na 72 lang, pero ang usapan natin is 300, ganito yung kalalabasan. Yo, kadiri! Ew! <laughs> so, jegemons. So, never ever do that, right? Remember, if you're planning on printing, use a document, sa, document um, resolution of 300 dpi. So, ulitin natin ha sa new and then piliin natin ulit yung FD cover pero instead of 72 papalitan natin ito ng 300 create and then we're gonna paste we're gonna paste the same lady control V and then control alt E to transform and then tingnan nyo to ah I think ginagawa ng mga amateurs so when amateurs transform something ganito they just drag an edge tapos Tingnan nyo, tumaba yung, yung tao. Diba? Mali yan. Or they do this. Okay, uh, control alt They do this. They drag this corner. And then they drag this corner. This is a very amateurish way of, of resizing or scaling uh, an image. Now, the, the proper way of rescaling an image is like this. So let's say nang galing tayo dito, control alt T on your keyboard. And then press and hold the shift button on your keyboard. And then drag the corner. As you can see, hindi na punggok or hindi na stretch yung model natin. Alright, once you're done, release the mouse button first. And then the shift button last. And then press enter. So yeah, na resize na natin. Now, tigan natin yung resolution ng isang 300 dpi na image. If we're gonna zoom it using control and plus key on your keyboard, can you see the difference? Medyo mas sharp ito, di ba? Medyo mas sharp siya kasi mas maraming pixels per inch ang ginamit natin. So tingnan natin sa image size. Ayan, yung DPI natin is 300 and it's using um, a width size of 4,442 4, pixels by 7,038 pixels. You wanna know gano'ng kalaki ito sa inches kapag printed or sa CM? All you have to do is press down the PX down, uh, arrow and then use the IN. So it's around 14.81 by 23 inches. Ang typical size ng bond paper is 8.5 ang width and 11 ang height. 8.5 by 11. So ibig sabihin, kung 8.5 ang width, that's 14 to, ang kasha, gagamit tayo ng dalawang ay apat na bond paper para ma-print yung image na to. Kung direkta natin ipiprint sa printer, itong Photoshop file na. Clear? Alright, so, ano ulit yung una sa list natin? Yung relationship ng width at saka height o yung tinatawag na size. Ano yung pangalawa? Yung intent or purpose. 
bakit kailangan natin isipin yung intent or purpose? Kasi gusto natin malaman kung gagamit tayo ng 72 DPI or 300 DPI. Remember, 300 DPI ginagamit sa mga print items para mas maraming maraming pixels yung mapagkasya natin at maging defined yung mga shapes natin. Now, kung sa screen lang naman yan, hindi naman tayo gumaganon sa cellphone natin. Hindi naman tayo gumaganon. So, makakalam pa sa tayo ng 72. Okay? So, remember, magic number 72. And another magic number is 300. Master Amon, nagka-crash yung computer ko pag 300 DPI ang gamit. Siguro, pwede na 150. Pwede na 150. Eh, Master Amon, gusto ko sharp na sharp yung image ko, tapos saka ko na lang gagawing 72 sa dulo. Pwede, pwede din. Magandang workflow yan. Kung kaya ng computer mo. Okay? So, magandang workflow palagi is to start with a higher resolution and then finish with the actual resolution. Okay? So, now... I'm gonna show you your magical world of layers here, over here. Layers work in conjunction with the very first button dito sa left-hand toolbar natin. Okay? The move tool. Always remember, layers on the right, move on the left. Layers, move. Layers, move. Layers, move. And we can do this all night long. All right? Layers, move. Layers, move. Layers panel, move tool. Layers panel, move tool. Ano ulit ang gagamitin kapag tinagtitripan natin si layers panel, si move tool. Okay. So now, ipapasok natin si Aling Bebang dito sa project natin. So now, dito sa layers panel natin, dito sa unang project, marami tayo mga layers. Yung pinakauna is labeled Hello World. Yung sunod is, what a beautiful day. Yung pangatlo si bird. And right now, lahat sila naka-hide. Pero, itong si display 72 DPI, si print 300, tsaka si DPI dots per inch, tsaka si pixels, naka-reveal. Ang unang tuturo ko sa inyo is paano magtago, tsaka paano mag-reveal ng mga layers. To hide a layer, all you have to do is left-click on the eye icon. So, I, I left-click on the eye icon of the display 72. Nawala si 72. Sunod, yung mata ni 300 dpi, pipindutin ko, mawawala si 300 dpi. Sunod, pipindutin ko si dots per inch, nawala. And finally, itatanos natin ito si pixel at siya ay naglaho parang bula. Ibabalik naman natin ngayon yung mga layers kanina by clicking on the eye doon sa hello world, clicking on the eye on sa what a beautiful day, clicking on the bird too, and yan, nabalik na natin yung nakaraan. Ayos. And remember, nagawa ko lang yan ng dahil naka-activate si move tool. Move tool. Shortcut key is letter V. Alright? So if ever you need to move something, ganito. Um, kapitan, kapitan, gusto kong i-move yung ibon. Gusto kong i-move yung ibon. So, siya i-move sa medyo baba. Kasi gusto ko lagyan ng cloud sa taas eh, kung nasan siya. So, ganito gagawin ko. Sa Photopea, I'm gonna make sure na naka-activate si Move Tool. And then, pipindutin ko yung layer ni Bird. Right? Tingnan nyo mangyayari kung hindi nakapindot yung layer ni Bird, ha? What if si Hello World yung nakapindot? Tapos, i-move natin si Bird. Ang na-move si Hello World. At sinusundan niya yung kilos ng aking move cursor habang naka-left, naka-hold yung left mouse button. So, ayaw natin yan. So, whoopsie! Walang nangyari. Alright. Uh, so, punta tayo sa step backward. So, undo. Undo. Step backward. Step backward. Yan. So, we're gonna undo or step backward. So, to undo dito sa Photoshop, you have to press Control Z or Command Z sa inyong MacBook. Alright? So, um, gusto natin igalaw si Bird. So, ang gagawin natin is, we're gonna select the Bird layer and take note, si Bird ay hindi basta-basta layer. It's actually a group. And if you press down the, the down arrow, makikita nyo magko-collapse into several more layers. And this Bird is made up of 
several layers. I-zoom natin. To zoom, press Control plus on your keyboard. To zoom out, Control minus. If you zoom on the wrong place, just press and hold the space bar on your keyboard. And while holding the space bar, drag the screen towards where you want your object to display something. Again, to zoom in, press Control plus, And then press and hold the space bar to pan the display. So now nakikita na natin yung ibon. Alright? Now, zoom out ng konti, control minus. And then, as you can see, we have there a layer, another layer, a layer, a layer, a layer, and a layer. The best thing about this is, ito yung tinatawag na shape layers. How will, how will you know na shape layer siya? Ito. Ito lang naman yung basihan ko ng shape layers. So, ang basihan yung ko ng shape layers. Parang crown sa taas. Sarat. Ito. Nakikita nyo yung icon na to? Yung mayroong square na may apat na nodes? Hindi siya pixel layer. It's a shape layer. Later, explain ko sa inyo ang difference ng pixel layer at saka ng shape layer. Alright. Now, Ang maganda sa shape layer is kapag dinobol click nyo yung icon, mapapalitan nyo yung color fill. Let's say ayaw natin ng green bird. Gusto natin ng puti. Tapos dilaw yung tuka. Okay. So nakikita natin na naging dilaw yung tuka. Tapos double click ko tong body ng bird. Pipili ako ng medyo gray pero hindi white. By dragging the circle towards the gradient here, mababago niyong kulay. Right? So, the color on the lower part of the of the two color parts thingy, yun nasa baba palagi, yung former color, kasi nasa taas yung yung current color na pinili mo. So, drag ko pa siya ng konting-konti para maging desaturated. If you drag it towards the left, magdi-desaturate siya. Kapag you drag it towards the right, magsa-saturate siya. If you drag it towards the top, magiging lighter siya. And if you drag it towards the bottom, madadagdagan siya na madadagdagan ng black. So, saturation yung left and right, value adding naman or subtracting yung up and down. Right? So, gusto, na, gusto natin ng hindi masyadong puti. So, um, what if hindi puti? Kasi tingnan nyo, hindi siya nagkakaroon ng contrast. Oh. Hindi siya nagkakaroon ng contrast. So, what if Gawin natin siyang crow. Rule of thumb, never use black or white sa design ninyo. Alright? Expert tip, never use black or white. Always use something na almost but not quite black or almost but not quite white. It's a good practice. Tandaan nyo. Alright? Never use complete black or complete white. Always reserve it sa mga images ninyo. Bakit? Later. Pero tandaan nyo lang, it's a rule. Never use complete black and complete white. Tandaan nyo na, that's what separates an amateur from an expert. Regardless kung nag -e edit ka ng video, nag -e edit ka ng photo, or nagpe-painting ka katulad ni Picasso. They never use black or white. Or rather, they do. They do use black and they do white. Pero not sa mga design nila, but instead, sa mga elements na wala talagang ilaw na dumadating like sa sound. Ito. Nilalagyan nila ng black to. And that's it. Dito lang naka-reserve yung black nila sa lips. Pero everything else, medyo warm black or cool black. Ganito itsura ng warm black. Oh. Itsura ng warm black is medyo nandito sa red spectrum. And how you produce brown is like this. Punta ka sa red, Tapos, ilagay mo medyo dito sa saturated. Tapos yan, may, may color chocolate ka na. Tapos, kung gusto mong gumawa ng orange, it's just between green, yellow, and red over here. And then, drag it all the way to the top left. Orange na Okay. So, um, as you can see, napaka-magical ng shape layers. I'm gonna show you yung difference ng shape layer at saka ng isang raster layer. So I'm going to create a new layer by pressing 
this button right beside the garbage can, this button, it creates a new layer and it designated the new layer as layer one. Now, um, si layer one, if, if I keep on pressing yung new layer, magdadagdag siya at magdadagdag ng mga layers. So, if I drag this layer to the garbage can, madedelete siya. See? Alright. And if I press the delete on the keyboard, madedelete pa rin siya. Alright? So, what if gusto ko siyang i-delete? So, gumawa ko ng layer, layer 1, di ba? Ay, i-delete ko si layer 1. Pero nakaselect yung katawan ng ibon. Hindi nyo ginamit yung move tool dito. Ang nakaselect yung ibon. Ay, i-delete ko yung layer 1. Delete. Oh no, nawala yung katawan. No! Bakit? Kasi you're not paying attention sa kung anong layer yung nakaselect do sa layer panel mo. Alright? Yan ang isa sa mga problem ng mga amateurs. They panic kasi, ay, iba yung gumagalaw. Bakit ganun? Iba yung gumagalaw, iba yung na-delete. Kasi, they're not paying attention do sa layer panel dito sa kanan. Sometimes, yung layer panel nakatago. Like Pwede this. mag- Question, Amor. Yeah, question. So, yung mga layers na yan, pag nag add ka ng additional, di ba, dun sa top pumupunta, um, may, uh, ewan ko yung question ko, may purpose ba if, I mean, kaya ba yan interchangeable yung mga layers or as is na siya, tsaka mo na lang iisipin yung design per layer? Actually, that's a good question. How your layers are stacked matters. Let me show you. Actually, papunta na tayo dun eh, sa layer stack. Um, control. Let's see. Alright. So, okay, nabuhay na. Excuse me. Paki-mute na, na lang yung mga question para sabay-sabay yung question para makapag-present mo na si Papa Amon. Thank you. So, example. Ito. Yung layer stack natin is we have a bird on top of uh, right below Hello World and right below what a beautiful day. So, anasa taas is si Hello World, and then what a beautiful day, and then si Bird 2. What if si Bird 2 ay nasa taas, and then we suddenly use the move tool to move the entire group dito? Kita niyo yung nangyari? Natakpan niya si Hello World. At kapag tinutok natin siya, Doon sa letter O. Hell world. O, di ba? Hell world. Kasi si bird ay nasa taas ng layer stack natin. What if we drag hello world sa taas ni bird 2? If we drag hello world sa taas ni bird 2, yan. Nakikita nyo, naging matanay ni bird si hello. And nasa ilalim niya si what a beautiful day. Ayun no, natatakpan ni bird si what a beautiful day. So the layer stack is as follows. The topmost things cover the things below it. Right? Remember, ganyan ganyan nagwo-work ang layer stack. And always remember, if you're dealing with the layer stack, always make sure na naka-select ang iyong move tool. Okay? All right, we can now move any questions? None? Alright. Next is um, itong tinatawag na layer, layer effects. Yung EFF. Okay. So, nakakakita na ba kayo ng mga layer style na sobrang estig? Yung may gradient, yung may outer stroke, yung may shadows. Dito ginagawa sa EFF. Yan. Sa example, Dito si Hello World, nakikita natin na black siya. I can easily manipulate its appearance by pressing the EF button. And then, the first thing that I'm going to change is I'm gonna add a stroke. It doesn't matter kung anong unahin mo dito. It really doesn't matter. So, pero ako, trip ko talaga na gawin yung stroke. Here, you can change the color of the stroke. Makikita natin na red siya. Pero, I'm going after a different style. So I'm going to use a white stroke instead. Okay. And then I'm going to retain the size. And then I'm going to press. Uh, I'm going to keep the opacity 100%. Because if I change this, medyo nagiging transparent yung stroke natin. So 
Again, puntahan natin yung kung paano natin ginawa yun. Select the hello world. Ah, siguro gawa na lang tayo ng bagong document. Right? Para hindi nakakalito. Okay. 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 So let's just create a new document. New. And then um, we're gonna use a nice template. Ito, yung hello world. Ganun pa rin. Meron pa rin tayong word. Meron pa rin tayong beautiful day. And meron pa rin tayong hello world. So I, I want to change yung size ng font, ay yung ano, style ng font. Okay? So to change the style of font, you have to press yung EFF button dito sa may layers panel. And then you can either choose a stroke, an inner shadow, inner glow, inner glow color overlay, or drop shadow. But wait, yung ba talaga una natin in-edit? Hindi. Ano yung rule number one? Always edit the size. So masaya ba tayo sa size na to? Medyo malungkot, di ba? So we're going to press Control alt t on the keyboard, press and hold Shift, and then drag the corner hanggang sa ma-reach niya yung kalahati, approximately kalahati ng ating um, Facebook cover photo. So as you can see, meron pa rin tayong na-introduce na empty spaces dito, dito, tsaka dito, which produces a really clean look. Always remember, add borders sa gilid. Right? Next is, na-edit na natin yung size, pwede na natin pakialaman yung style natin. So, press the EFF button and then add a stroke. I want a white stroke dito. Kahit na nandito na si layer style, pwede ka pa rin mag-zoom by pressing Ctrl plus. Oh, hindi. Hindi pwede. So, mag-zoom na tayo habang nasa labas. Yan. Press the space bar to move the item to the, towards the left. And then press the EFF again, and then add stroke. Ito, seryoso na to. Kung mapapasin nyo, yung opacity niya is not in completely 100%. It's just, um, it's just 43%. Gawin natin 100. And then what I can do is, I can add another stroke. At napunta siya sa ilalim. I can turn this into red. And then I can increase the size like so. And then I can change the color of the text by adding a color overlay over here. And then I'm going to change the color to a dark brown. What? Ah, pindot ako ng ads. Anyways, so, okay. Ano ba yan? <laughs> ah, okay. Yun. Okay. So as you can see, Meron na tayong isang napakagandang design made up of a color overlay, a stroke, and another stroke sa ilalim na mas malaki. Right? So, what if hindi ako masaya sa effect nito? All I have to do is delete this. Uh, all I have to do is right click and then layer style, clear. So, we're back to start. Right? So what if, what if gusto kong kopyahin itong style na to dun sa text sa baba, yung what a beautiful day. But first, resize muna natin siya by pressing Ctrl, Alt, and T. And then pressing and holding Shift. Now, kung ayaw nyo i-press and hold yung Shift, there's another way. All you have to do is press nyo yung isang button dito na maglalock sa aspect ratio. Ang problem wala. So you really have to press and hold Shift button. So press and hold shift button, release the left mouse button first, and then release the shift button last, and then press enter to commit. All you have to do is right click on the effect icon dito, layer style, copy, and then as you have guessed, select this layer, right click, layer style, paste. So nakita nyo, nakopya ni what a beautiful day, yung style ni Hello World. Now, what if I want to change yung style ni What a Beautiful Day at saka ni Hello World? All I have to do is double click on the particular effect dito sa layer stack. Alright? So right now, ito yung layer stack ni Hello World, yung effect stack niya ito. Ito yung effect stack naman ni What a Beautiful Day. Let's say, gusto kong tanggalin yung puting outer stroke 
do sa What a Beautiful Day. So, pula na lang yung matitira. Tapos gusto ko puti naman yung text. All I have to do is pick on one. So, siguro itong si upper stroke. And then I'm gonna uncheck it. And then I'm gonna uncheck yung color overlay. Kasi puti naman talaga yung text natin. Or, go to the color overlay. And then change the color here to white. Or medyo white. <laughs> Nabibreak ko yung sarili kong rules eh, no? <laughs> okay. Tapos, medyo ang sagwa nito kasi ang taba-taba. Inaagaw niya yung attention ni Hello World. So I'm going to double click itong stroke. And I'm going to decrease the size a little bit. Set this aside for now. Yan. And then let's say na gusto ko medyo nakaangat si Beautiful Day. So I'm going to introduce a drop shadow. Drop shadow is over here sa pinakababa. And then what you can do is make sure selected itong drop shadow. And then you could use your mouse. Ayaw. Ayaw ah. Anyways, um, all you have to do is make sure na uncheck nyo palagi si global angle. And then you could control the distance here. Ayan, napapansin nyo, lumalayo siya do. And you can control the angle over here. Let's say gusto ko straight down yung angle natin. All I have to do is type here 90. And then, decrease the distance. Tapos gusto ko strong yung shadow. Tataasan ko lang yung opacity niya. Over here. Tapos gusto ko na sharp yung shadow ko. Bababaan ko yung size. Or gusto ko sharp yung shadow pero mas mataba. Tataasan ko yung size, pero tataasan ko yung spread. O, ba? Naging parang Oreo na yung design mo. <laughs> diba ganyan yung mga design sa mga cookies? Ganyan yung technique. Ulitin natin ha. Ang technique dito is you kanina nakaganyan yan eh. So size niya malaki. All you have to do is increase the opacity Increase the size, and then increase the spread to 100. And then baguhin mo na lang yung size dito. And then what's fun is, let's say gusto mo, gusto mo LGBTQ yung shadow. So, sabihin natin na ito, purple. Okay. Tapos, uh, master, bakit medyo madilim yung purple ko? Kasi yung blending mode mo ay multiply. Change it to normal. There you go. Right? Babaan natin yung size ng konti. And then let's duplicate this. We now have another shadow. Palitan mo yung kulay. Ng red. Okay. Tapos taasan mo yung distance. Tapos plus ulit. Taasan mo lang yung distance. Tapos palitan mo ng kulay. Gawin mo orange. Pindutin mo yung drop shadow ulit. Select mo siya. Taasan mo yung distance. Change color. So as you can see, na-implement ko yung LGBTQ na branding, which is yung unicorn rainbow. And then, press the plus button to duplicate it. Select the new drop shadow copy. Change the color to green. Press OK. And then just move the distance a little bit. So, hindi masyadong pansin si green. So, I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make it move a little bit sa blue. And then, I'm gonna darken it a bit. And then, press OK. So, kitang-kita na siya. So, I created an LGBT theme text by just using duplicated instances of the shadow na may 90 degree angle at nagbavary ng distance. Kung medyo control freak nga kayo, pwede nyo i-6 ano eh, to, tapos 12, tapos ito 18, enter, tapos ito 24, tapos ito 30. Kung medyo control freak kayo. So, control plus, yan. So, na-explore na natin itong effects panel. Saka na natin explore yung iba sa ibang araw. Pero ang huling tuturo ko sa inyo is yung tinatawag na text tool. Paano gumawa ng mga letters 
So, tuturo ko sa inyo paano gumawa ng isang linyang letter, paragraph letters, letters na nakapasok sa isang hugis, letters na umiikot sa hugis, at saka letters na medyo mongoloid ang itsura. Okay, let's start with a one-liner, yung mga headlines. So, as you can see, ito mga point text lang to mga to. Ibig sabihin, they're just one-liners. Alright? They're not suitable for paragraph. Now, how to create a paragraph? Or how to create this point text? I-hide ko muna to. And then I'm going to press this button, the type tool. Type tool. Type na type kita. Alright. So, um, the size here is 102 pixels. And the style is Liberation Mono. Let's choose a... Uncheck natin lahat. Modern tayo. So, we're gonna pick a... Um, either a sans serif font or a or a slab serif font. Let's go for slab serif. Right? So para uh, modern na modern yung dating natin sa LGBT. LGBTQ millennials, millennial style. Right? So slab serif yung pinakabagong fam font family na lumabas. So let's choose the Fridoka one font. And then Take notice ko anong gagawin ko. Ha? I selected the text tool. I selected the font. I selected the weight. And then I selected the size. And then I selected the color. Okay. And then watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to just click once. I'm not going to drag the mouse. Okay? Just click once. Welcome. And then press control enter. As you can see, yung ating paragraph alignment para dito sa welcome layer is aligned to the left. Kaya if we press the text tool ulit and then if we click on any part of this text, may edit na naman natin siya. And then you could create a selection or press Control A to select everything and then delete. Tingnan nyo dahil ang alignment niya is aligned to the left kung paano mag-materialize yung text natin. Welcome! So, nag-start siya from the left and then nag-type siya to the right. Right? So, Control A, delete. What if ang alignment natin is to the left? Dito pa rin ako pumindot. And then if I try it, welcome, it started writing towards the right. So, ito is yung text alignment. Right? So, ganyan gumawa ng headlines. To move it, select the move tool again and make sure na selected si welcome layer dito sa layers panel. Welcome. Right. Now, we're ready to add a subtext and the paragraph lines in the bottom. To add the paragraph line, Always remember this rule. When you're selecting a text, the paragraph should always be one half or a third or a quarter of your headline. So, yung headline natin is 107. Pwede ba natin siyang gawing 100 lang para madaling i-divide? Oh, oh, that's a good practice. 100, enter. 100 na lang yung text. Now, I want to put a paragraph na align to the left. So I'm going to select the text tool and then drag a rectangle over here. Nakasing laki ni welcome. And then, the text size is one half of 100. So a half of 100 is 50. Enter. And then I'm gonna begin typing here. My name is Marlon Watermelon. Watermelon. I live inside your imagination. Yan. So, kung papasin nyo, isang font lang ang ginamit ko, isang weight lang, pero nagkaroon ng 
emphasis just because I changed the size of the header and I have the paragraph text. So, tingnan naman natin yung mangyayari kapag sinelect natin lahat nito using the text tool, control A, and then change it to one third. One third of 100 is 33. Okay ba? Ang ganda, di ba? It looks really nice. Kasi kinalahati lang natin yung font size. So, yan. Alam nyo nyo kung paano gumawa ng paragraph at saka pa paano mag match ng fonts kapag isang font lang yung gamit mo. What if pinalitan natin yung font ni Welcome? So let's change yung font ni Welcome. Select Welcome and then change the font into something different. This. So all I have to do is just select the font on the layer. Sinelect ko si Welcome and then I choose I, I chose a font on the font selection. Coda. Nah. Doesn't match. Or what if we try to use a combination of slab serif and um, script. Script, ibig sabihin is handwritten. Alright? Ito. So, script. Ayun, script. So, if you wanna look for fonts na handwritten, so let's find something handwritten. Daniel. Hmm. So I used a combination of a handwritten headline and a slab serif um, body text or paragraph na one-third ng size ng headline. So, magandang practice yan. Always remember, kapag may header, headline ka or header, it should always be three times, four times, or two times the size of your paragraph. Okay? Always remember, good, good practice. Another thing, why should we avoid using white? Okay. This is the reason why we avoid using white. I'm gonna turn this into a little bit gray. Kung gusto kong kopyahin yung kulay sa paligid, ilalabas ko lang siya sa paligid, and then I'm gonna boop, press outside. Nanakaw ko ngayon yung kulay ng background. Pero gusto ko medyo light version ng background. Okay, di ba? Medyo kong naging kakulay niya si Bernie. Okay, so next, we're going to create a text inside a shape. But first, before we create a shape inside a text, uh, uh, a text inside a shape, we need to create a shape first. Listen closely. To create shapes, you now need to use the pen tool right below the text tool. Over at the top, you will find different modes for the pen. Right now, we're at the shape creation tool. We're not gonna create a shape. But instead, we're going to create a text field na kakaiba ang hugis. Let's say gusto kong sulatan yung loob ng katawan ng ibon. So ang gagawin natin is, we're going to change the shape to a path. Okay? And then, I'm going to start drawing using the Bezier control. I'm going to start drawing a shape kung saan gusto ko lumabas yung text. To close the shape, all you have to do is press the first node and then press T hmm. I don't think merong option dito. T, wala. There you go. I pressed yung shape na ginawa ko using the T and then I'm gonna begin typing. Pero probably lililate ang ko yung text kasi gagawin ko siyang medyo light. So, 33, drag it down. Nung unang panahon, and then, 
unang panahon. Panahon ng tag-ulan. Maraming nagkasipon. Uminom ng sikon. Kasabay ng Rebicon. Ngayon, kung tinatamad ka magsulat, baka sa edit, ay sa somewhere, ay wala, mag-paste ka na lang kung ano-ano, na lorem ipso. So, ang gagawin ko, I'm gonna select everything, control C, control D many times. So, kung napapansin nyo, spacebar, nasa loob ng ibon, yung text. Cool, di ba? Ulitin natin. Let's repeat. First, press the pen tool. Make sure its path is selected. Pen tool. Dali lang. Ulitin natin. Didelete ko to. Okay, let's move it away. <laughs> so, use the pen tool, select path, and then create a shape. Now, this is a curve. So, what I'm going to do is instead of clicking once, I'm going to click and drag it before I'm going to release it. It now creates a Bezier control. Click and drag to create another Bezier. Click and drag to create another Bezier. Click and drag to create another Bezier. Ito medyo malaking Bezier curve to. And then click and drag to create the final Bezier. Next, select the text tool. Make sure na tama yung mga elements mo dito. If you're not gonna make sure, it's okay. Pwede mo naman palitan after you do all of this. Click on the shape. There you go. Click on the shape and then start typing. Diba nasabi ko kanina na pwedeng palitan? All you have to do is select everything and then change the alignment. You can change the size. You can change the color. And what not. So hanggang dito na lang muna ang ating lessons. I hope na may natutunan kayo about yung dynamics ng layers at saka ng different types of text. Oh, before that, paano gumawa ng text na naka-ikot? Like for example, yung uh, sandigang batas ng Pilipinas. Yung mga ganyang logo. Gawa tayo na sarili nating government logo ng mga LGBT. So, ganito ako gumawa ng logo sa Photoshop. File, new, and then always remember yung size. Um, gusto ko around 1,000 by 1,000 pixels. And then 72, pwede na to. Background is white. And then I'm gonna create. So, nung nag-create ako, hindi ako pumili sa mga presets, sinulat ko mismo yung size ko. And I'm given with a white background. Next, I'm gonna create a shape. Press the pen tool. You have pen and free pen dito, by the way. Pero ayoko nito eh. Gusto ko, is a circle mismo yung gagawin ko. Hindi na ako magdodrawing ng circle. Circle na mismo yung drawing ko. So, I'm gonna press and hold down this rectangle icon. Ito mga shapes to, mga primitives. Make sure that you're holding it down and then select ellipse. There you go. Another good practice is, uh, a good practice for designers is by creating a ruler. To create a ruler, Make sure na selected itong move tool and then drag the ruler towards 
the center. Medyo nagsasnap siya eh, papasin nyo. And then makikita nyo na nasa kalahati tayo ng 1,000 pixel, which is 500. And then I'm gonna drag this. And then we have a uh, crosshairs. Kung saan tayo makapag-drawing ng perfect circle sa gitna. Next, bring out this ellipse tool. And then make sure na you change this from shape to path. Kasi magta-type tayo, remember? Click on the middle of the crosshair sa ginawa mo. Oops, bakit hindi sa gitna? Bakit sa sulok siya ng gitna? Tapos palabas. All you have to do is press and hold out. Bakit oblong? Press shift. Press and hold shift and out together will form a concentric circle. Remember, yung unang i-release nyo palagi is yung mouse button, saka yung alt at saka yung shift. Okay? Next, bring out your text tool and then click on outside of the shape. Change the size, change the color, and change the font. Since this is a government font, a government logo, we're going to use a, a serif type of font. Ang pinaka simpleng sans -ser serif font is yung Times New Roman, di ba? So, serif font, serif. There you go. So, Aleo. Tapos, we're going to use a bold variant. Uh, National Bureau, Bureau of LGBTQS Plus. So, magic, di ba? Nagsulat siya ng circular. Oops, magsusulat pa tayo sa ilalim. Paano wala natin tayo dito? Oh, wala natin pa oh, yung bureau. Tanggalin mo yung bureau. Hmm? The spelling, yung oh, bureau. Bureau. Walang, walang O. Oh, walang O. Oh. Bureau. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, okay. I'm going to select everything by pressing Control A. And Tama. then change the size. And then, if I still want to change kung saan yung gitna ng National Bureau of LGBTQS, I'm now going to use the white path select tool right below yung pen tool. Ay, ba't gano'n? Ayaw mong bago. Anyways, move tool na lang. Move tool, control T, I control alt T, and then rest. Ah! Sorry. Again, control alt T, and then rotate. Rotate ba siya? Hindi. Mm, path select. So natin ayusin ito. Ang ba natin ayusin ito? Okay na yun siguro. <laughs> I'll just figure it out. Pero that's how you create uh, circular fonts. Now gusto natin yung ano naman. Pabaliktad naman yung font. Ang gagawin natin is we're gonna create a new shape. A new path. Pindutin mo yung nasa baba. Press and hold down and shift. And then make sure na yung circle mo medyo lumumpas lang sa taas ng National Bureau of LGBTQS. Bring out the text tool. Make sure it's centered. Size is 50 pa rin. And then click on the shape. Um, international 
chapter. Oopsie! Hindi circular na gawa natin. Sa path. Yan. Make sure selected to. Text. Mm-hmm. Teka, ano kaya yung challenge natin dito? Okay, mo since 2020. Ay, established. Tama, tama. So, established 2020. Okay. So, mm, stroke. Ay, ang dami ng layer na nagawa, oh. Delete natin. Yan. So, text tool. What? Ganun pala yun. So, control alt t Ganun. Medyo kakaibang ang text tool dito. Pero siguro i-wrap up na natin dito yung ating uh, Photoshop. Right now, natutunan ninyo is you, need, you always need to start with yung dimensions which is yung length and height. You need to always remember kung ano yung, yung intents or purpose. Kung print ba siya or display. Remember for display, you're gonna use just 72. But if you're intending on printing, you're going to use 300. Pero if you're gonna print a tarpaulin, pwedeng pwede ka nang mag 72. Right? So, buka, ay, next time, we're gonna talk about color modes, yung RGB at saka yung CMYK. Pag-uusapan natin yung color profile, bakit iba-iba yung itsura ng, ng monitor at saka ng print. Tapos bakit iba-iba yung kulay ng sa cellphone, iba yung kulay ng sa laptop, iba yung kulay sa desktop, tapos iba pa rin yung kulay sa print. Tapos nag-away-away na yung manufacturer at saka yung owner ng brand. Ah, gulo, gulo So paano maiwasan yung mga ganon? And then we're going to talk about color theory next week. Once again, my name is Amon Guanzon. Nag-enjoy ako sa ating workshop. Have a nice day. Good evening. Everybody clap. Clap, 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 clap. Clap, 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 clap. This is so nice. Any question? Question clarification. May natutunan ba kayo? Yes. Yes po. Yeah. Dami ko natutunan. Yung, I learned a lot ito nga eh. Uh, yung aspect, aspect ratio, importante, importante nga naman yun. No? Tapos yung DPI, yung 372. Aha. Uh -huh. Purpose no ano. Oh, madami pa tayo. I'm so excited for another 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 meetup natin. Thank you po si iPhone ano. Any question? Oy, alam niyo na lahat? Naintindihan niyo na lahat? Ah, alam ko yung feeling niyo, yung parang ano, parang uh, ganyan quiet. I I was like that nung natututo ako. <laughs> Kasi nag-aano sila, nag-internalize. Nag no? Yeah, I, I, was, I was just like that. At saka parang gusto mo, yung ano ito, photopeya. Photopeya, no? pwede yung ano yan. Uh, uh, Ma-search lang, no? Hindi na kailangan. I know a lot of you using Chromebooks, eh. So, super gandang surprise, di ba? Na hindi nyo kailangan ng Photoshop. Oo. Uh, Photopia, photo, 
kaya lang okay na. So, anyway. Okay, this is all pro bono. Baka meron kayong mga questions. Nag-iisip kung anong design ang gagamitan after this. Oo, yun. Well, uh, Aman, we will still have another, ano, another presentation for this, di ba? Yeah. If you want every Monday or every other Monday. Yes. Yes. Gusto ko to regular ng Monday. Alam mo, ang daming nag-review sa, ano, sa Facebook at saka sa, ano, i, uh, na, nag ano din ako, nag uh, paano na to sa, sa Facebook ko, sa Facebook wall ko. Ang uh, dami na grow wash. Nice. I'm so excited. I can't hide it. Wala bang tanong? Ina, <laughs> sorry Ina. Mga hindi ka natuloy nag, nagtanong ngayon nung na ano ka pa. Baka may tanong ka Ina yung... Okay na po. Na ano lang yung sa layering lang yung tinanong ko kasi baka pwede siyang yung nga uh, yung iba-iba yung order niya or interchangeable and nasagot naman ako. Um, importante yung move ano yung move tool at saka yung layer no. Kasi ba bawat galaw mo kaya yung move tool is importante yes, kasi uh, ano yung gagawin mo sa ano nag matter sa move tool no. iPhone pwede kang ano Soon, gusto ko pong mag-learn kung paano maglagay ng current pick mo tapos yung, ah, yes, iPhone. Pwede ka magtanong, iPhone. Magsalita ka. Pindutin mo yung picture, yung camera mo tapos. Okay naman po. Yeah. Layer, layer pala yun. Okay ka na, iPhone. Sa tanong mo, sabagay nasabi ko naman yung tanong mo dun sa chat. Nababasa mo naman, Ama, no? Yung tanong comment ni iPhone. Tingin nga? Soon, Tingin natin yung question. Bakit siya? Ay, paano nga yun? Uh, paano ba ito? Oh. Sa chat. <laughs> paano ba ito? Uh, ito ba yun? <laughs> hindi, hindi. Which button to pick? Oh, no. The chat, the chat. <laughs> Sige, sabi ko, basahin ko na lang. Soon, gusto ko pong ma-learn kung paano maglagay ng current pick mo tapos yung background niya bansa, ibang banda. Pwede ba yun? Ah, oo. Oh. May nagagawa niya nung kalaman ako kung gano'n sa inyong Paris. Picture, picture. Diba? Eh, gusto ko pong ma-learn kung paano maglagay ng current pick mo tapos yung background niya ibang, ibang banda. Pwede ba yun, he? Ah, like, gusto mo na yung picture mo nasa harapan pero kitang-kita yung background sa likod. Tapos magandang maganda yung pagkakagupit sa iyo. Tama ba? Opo, halimbawa, yung opo, yung pare yung front picture mo tapos yung background niya nasa ibang country ka pwede ba yun, di ba? Yung Photoshop. Ah, actually gusto niyo itis ko sa inyo yung episode 3 natin. Itis ko ah, papakita ko. So, ang requirements is, you need to make sure na yung picture mo nakalagay ka sa isang solid color na background. Na hindi ka kulay ng balat mo at saka hindi ka kulay ng suot mo. Right? So, ang skin natin is more leaning towards the orange and the yellow. So, it would be perfect if you're going to use the opposite color ng background. So, sa color wheel, pakita ko sa inyo yung uh, color wheel. Uh, color wheel. So, yung balat natin is more on the orange side. Orange, yellow, and red. Okay? So, it doesn't matter anong race mo. It's considered to be along the spectrum. Kaya sa sine, ang ginagamit palagi is blue screen. Kasi opposite na kulay yan ng balat. Ngayon, kung yung mga actors nila is blue ang suot, yung gagamitin nila green. Kaya meron tayong tinatawag na green screen special effects. Pag may green naman yung suot nila, gagamit sila na blue na backdrop. Or, halimbawa, white yung backdrop mo. Make sure na high contrast ng white yung suot mo. Black, for example. Or blue. Or red. Or brown. Pero not yellow. Kasi yellow medyo malapit na sa white yan. Huwag din black kasi ang kulay ng book natin ay black. So make sure na yung picture na gagamitin mo is high contrast. 
Okay? Tingnan natin si Tam. Si Tam Manguera, puti ang background niya, pero yung foreground niya, green na unan, flesh na balat, tsaka black na t-shirt. Ang dali-daling kunin ni Tam Manguera sa picture niya. Madaling tanggalin yung background niya. Ngayon, si Taz, hindi masyadong mataas yung contrast ng picture niya. Mahihirapan tayo na ilagay yung picture niya sa isang design. So nakikita niyo yung difference ng picture ni Taz at saka ni Tam. Si Tam, high contrast yung si Tam sa background niya. Si Taz, hindi mataas yung contrast niya sa, sa picture. So ako, tingnan niyo ako. Hindi mataas yung contrast ko dun sa upuan. si Kaya mahihirapan ako na tanggalin yung upuan. Better yet, isama ko na lang yung upuan sa design ko. So ito, example ha. Meron akong picture, um, kaninong picture gagamitin natin. Mini, mini, my name. Touch the tiger by the... Ito. So ito, gamitin natin si... Uh, sino gagamitin natin? Ito. Gamitin natin si Tam. Lagay natin si Tam sa isang nahiwagang lugar. So, file, new. Ang size natin is FB cover. Pero hindi tayo pipili ng document um, template. We're just gonna create. We're gonna paste this. Nakikita nyo ba to? Yes. Okay, so... As you can see, wala tayong back background pero meron tayong si Tam. We're gonna press Ctrl, Alt, and T. Sakupin natin to. Enter. So, there are several ways of creating a background foreground. Pero maghanap muna tayo ng background. So, let's say flag ng Australia. Flag ng Australia ilalagay natin. Uh, si Tam, anong country ka ngayon? Nasa Philippines ka ba? Japan. O sige, Japanese flag. Japanese flag. Okay. So, itong Japanese flag na to, gagawin kong background. Pero picture niya yung foreground. Uh, sabihin natin na... Uh, ito. So, I'm gonna right-click, copy, and then I'm gonna paste dito. As you can see, si layer ng Japan nakapatong sa layer ni Tam. So, ang gagawin ko, i-drag ko tong layer na to gamit yung move tool, pababa. At control alt p itong layer na to. Press shift. And then drag it towards that place. And then I'm gonna move it over the top dito. Yeah. So, Ang unang tuturo ko sa inyo ay yung tinatawag na clipping mask. So sa clipping mask, ganito ang technique. Teka, nakikita niyo ba tong screen ko? Yes. Teka, I'm just gonna make sure na nakikita niyo tong screen ko ha. Yan. Okay. So, si Japan natatakpan. So ang unang technique na gagawin natin is what we call the clipping mask. So sa clipping mask, ganito. Gagawa ka ng bagong layer. Press new layer dito. Ito, new layer. So, si new layer is right below the foreground, which is thumb. Sabi natin foreground to. You can rename your layers, ah. Bas, basta double click nyo lang yung layer name. Tapos ito, clipping mask. I'm gonna teach you how to use clipping mask. So, so, to use clipping mask, all you have to do is either create a shape or create a brush. So, it's a brush muna tayo. The shortcut for brush is B. Then, if you right click, makikita nyo yung size ng brush. Pwede nyo palitan. Tsaka yung hardness ng brush. So, we're gonna use a 100% hard brush na maliit ang size. Kasing size ng pinaka fine detail ng subject natin. Right now, ilalagay ko muna yung clipping mask sa taas ni foreground. And then, I'm gonna start brushing yung, dulo, yung mga edges niya. Starting dito. Now, listen carefully. Ito ang technique. 
click once, press and hold the shift button on your keyboard, and then click on another point. What happens is, gumagawa si Photoshop na straight line from the previous click to the next click na ginawa mo. So ang gagawin natin is tatakpan natin si, si Tam. Our problem is hindi smooth yung shape natin. So we're gonna right click. Wala tayong softness. Ah. Ayan, saan yung brush natin? Brush, brush, capacity, smooth, flow. Stylus. Ito ang sama ng flow natin. So, gabing ko, mag-click ako dyan ulit. Press and hold shift. Ngayon, papakita ko sa inyo ngayon yung power ng ginagawa natin clipping mask. Ang gabing ko is, I'm gonna drag clipping mask sa ilalim ni foreground. And then, I'm gonna press and hold alt on the keyboard. And then click dito sa siwang between foreground and clipping mask. Tinan niyo yung nangyari. Si Tam, nakuha niya yung hugis ng clipping mask. At kapag dinagdagan ko pa to, lumalabas si Tam. If I press and hold alt again, tapos pinindot ko yung pag siwang nila, mawawala yung clipping mask. So itutuloy natin na itadrag ko ulit si clipping mask sa taas. And then I'm just gonna brush. Ito wala nang shift to. Freehand. Okay? Tinan nyo yung freehand. Medyo mahirap po. Oh. Kaya ang ginagawa ko, nag-zoom ako by control, pressing control plus. Space bar para mag-pan. Click once. Doop. Tapos press and hold shift. And then create connecting lines. Like so. Press space bar kung medyo hindi nakita. Tapos kunwari, hanggang dito na lang yung unang natin. Gawa tayo ng kunwaring scenario na maliit lang yung unang at hindi siya na crop. So, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Tapos mamaya palitan natin yung kulay ng unang. Kaya magandang kulay. So, ganyan, ganyan. Siyempre, lalaking lalaki. Kulay pink. <laughs> <laughs> Yan. O siguro gawin natin red kasi Japan, di ba? So, we have here Okay. So, malapit na natin matapos. Nag-zoom out ako para malakihan yung brush without pressing the right click button. Gagamitin ko yung brackets key sa keyboard. Brackets. Papakit ito mamaya sa, sa chat. Ito type yung brackets key. So, tapos, yan, brackets ulit. Yung brackets, ito, ito yung itsura niya. Ito yung itsura sa keyboard. Yung ganyan, no? Mm. Yan. Pag pinindot mo to, lalaki yung brush mo. Pag pinindot mo to, lilit yung brush mo. Mm. Okay? So, so, uh, Okay. So ngayon, ibababa ko na yung clipping mask ulit. Press and hold alt. And then pindutin mo yung pagitan ng dalawa. So, I hope nasagot ko yung question nyo na kung paano maglagay ng picture at may kakaibang background. Ngayon kung nakapansin nyo, hindi masyadong match yung foreground natin sa yung background. Kung papansin nyo, hindi, hindi match yung exposure niya and whatsoever. So what we're going to do is we're going to attempt on retouching yung kulay para magmatch lalo yung foreground sa background. So to do it, make sure na selected yung gusto mong palitan. And then I'm gonna teach you a non-destructive technique. If you click on this half moon icon, katabi ng effects natin, this is a new adjustment layer. And then I'm gonna select exposure. I'm gonna drag the exposure pataas. At magbabago yung exposure natin. So kung napapansin nyo, ang nagbago lang is 
lahat ng layers na nasa ilalim ng exposure adjustment layer. Okay? So next is you have to um, you have to create uh, press this yung foreground layer natin. Create a another adjustment layer exposure. But this time, go in yung alt click ulit in between layers. At ang magbabago lang is si Tam. See? Mm. Nice. Ang mangyayari kapag hindi natin ginawa yun, maapektuhan lahat ng layers sa ilalim. Okay. Question. So, in-alt click ko to para magkaroon ng clipping mask ulit. Okay. Question. Uh, kailangan mo ba i-brush ulit yung ulan pag binago mo yung kulay? Um, actually, it doesn't matter kung anong kulay ng, ano, ng clipping mask layer mo. As long as yung edge ng, yung edge yung mas mahalaga. Mm, okay. Nice. Natuwa ako. Tuwa-tuwa ako. <laughs> so, I hope nasagot na natin yung, uh, yung question. Wala na tayong time. And I, I think I need to go to another meeting na. So, see you around next week. Goodbye. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
and nan uh, sana malift uh, na but i don't think so kasi muna yung number one sa no philippines like si muna yung number one ang may philippines sa oo pero kasi kayo din ko Uh, Nagwo-work uh, currently na uh, nagwo-work uh, uh, nagwo-work ba ang BP ng ngayon sa Cebu? I mean, kasi, uh, may call center pa rin ba uh, kahit lockdown? Ano, uh, uh, work from home po. Uh, most of us like work okay. from home. Uh, yeah, Hello, R and Kali. R, uh, AR pala, AR. Kali, naabutan nyo? Apo, naabutan po namin lahat. Ang nice ano, ang galing-galing ni Ano, at saka very, uh, ano siya, as in teacher na teacher and that thing. Uh, detailed, no? Matututo ka talaga dun sa, sa sinasabi niya. Ano, ano, okay. Abuti na kahabol ka. Ah, from the start kayo, AR, nakapag-watch kayo, no? Ah, um, hindi mga na, ano eh, 848 na po kami nakapasok eh. Ah, okay. I start lang po ba? Tama yan, tama yan. Nagsisimula pa lang naman din yun. Oh. Ah, ba tayo? Si Amon ay kapatid ni Deseret. Hello, Deseret from California. Hello, Rev. Yeah. Rev from Utah siya. Ano? From Utah. Ah, from you time, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, nasa work ako, kaya nakikinig lang ako. Ah, okay. Ang galing-galing ng kapatid mo. Kaya nga eh, too bad di ko naabutan. Naabutan ko yung ano, patapos na. Oo okay. nga, pero naka-ano naman siya, naka-live kami kanina. Sa... Naka-live, yeah. Muna ako nanood ito live. Late ah, lang ako masak dito. Yeah. Nice time. Oo nga eh, napakatalented niyang kuya ko. Naka-happy na nasi-share niya sa ano, yung... Uh, sa lahat yung knowledge niya. My God, oo. Tapos, uh, ito yung fashion niya eh. Magturo, tsaka yung ano nga, anything about art, graphics, ganun. Fashion niya talaga yan, simula bata pa kami. He deserved to be called Master Amon. No? <laughs> Kasi, he, no, tin, um, magaling pagkaturo niya and uh, for sure, he he will produce many great artists because he's a good teacher. No. Nice siya. Yes. Lahat ng mga tinuruan niyan, sobrang galing na ngayon. Oh, Sobra. Yeah. Lahat ng tinuruan niyan. Kaya we are so lucky na we have, uh, we have him here na uh, nagtuturo sa atin. Kasi yung ano niya, yung way niya rin ng pagturo, make sure na ano, lahat, naiintinda ng lahat. Yes. Magaling siyang teacher. Yes, at saka alam mo, actually nahirapan nga siya mag-Tagalog eh. Uh, Inglesero talaga si si Amon, pero <laughs> buti na lang nakahabol ko eh. Ilungkod ko na nga yung ilungkod dito eh. <laughs> Oo, pati nga, nga no nosebleed din kami sa kanya, lalo na ako. Yes, nice. Okay. Tama Hello, na, Ruby. Hello, Ruby. Namiss ka namin kanina. <laughs> si Bote. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Atan timing mo, Ruby. Karubuti. <laughs> no, wala ba? Karubuti. <laughs> si Bote yan. Oo. Uh-uh. Kaya may ngayon maririnig nila. <laughs> Ayos lang yun. Bote, jaryo ba yun? Ay, hindi pala yun. Kabote. Ay, yung bakal bote. <laughs> ano ba ang kaya ko sa Ruby na yan? Ah, Ruby. Pinagdadaanan ka ba? Wala ah. Bait ko nga eh. <laughs> Nagsalit tayong walang pinagdadaanan, no? <laughs> Alam mo. Pero ang galing talaga ni Master Amon. May natutunan din ako sa kanya about laptop. Hindi pala pwede yung ganun. Nagpaturo yeah. din ako about laptop kanina magkachat kami. Nigin niya rin ako ng knowledge about laptop. About gaming. 
Kaya, thankful. So amazing. And thank you. Bye-bye. Perfect. <laughs> Go, Beshi! Go, Beshi! Kamusta? Kamusta? Karo lang din po, bas pa. Ito, bas pa. Kasi I'm not safe. Yes, sino po yung sasa? Nag-announce sa ba siya? Technical na... Go, 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 go. Sorry. If may technical problems po, po pwede po maka-ask kay, ano, kay Master Amon regarding po. Yeah! Yeah! I-chat mo si Master Amon. Re-reply yun agad, agad. Dito. Pero isulat mo sa chat. Okay. Sige po, salamat eh. You could message him naman. Nasa GC naman natin si Master. Sige po, i-chat ko po siya. Tungkolin kasi ito sa ano, yung sa mobile phone na nabasa. If effective ba yung ano, if it's right. <laughs> Oo, effective yun. Tapos effective yun. Kasi ginagawa ko yun eh. Pag di effective, bilad mo sa araw. Ano? Ilang days na ba? Ma... Ano lang? Ilang days po ba yung maximum na ilagay siya sa ride? 24 to 48 hours dapat. Dapat ka 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 dapat. Dapat Ah. Basta ilagay sa mainit lugar, i-ipila. Ipila. Oo. Pwede yan. Pwede yan. Ano yung announcement na ba? May announcement na ba kung anong lagay natin? June 15 daw eh, sa akin. Maraming salamat po. Hindi ko alam. Oo, tas. Try mo muna ibabag siya ng 12 to 14 hours. June 15, tato ba yun? Ay, 24 to 14 hours. Ano na ato siya ngayon? Para ang pang 3 days na. Tapos, tinay namin kanina, nag-on naman siya. Kaso, medyo ano lang, may moist pa yung ano niya yung sa LCD. Hmm. Ulang pa yun. Hindi na ka, ano niya, kulog niya. Hmm. Pero, Opo. pwede naman siya yun. Naka, ano, kahit nag-moist pa siya yung sa LCD, pwede naman i-charge yun. Pwede siguro yun. No, sasabog yun. Huwag mo na i-charge. Not yet dry. Huwag mo i-charge. Dapat ano. Gusto ata sumabog na ito eh. Nakalive ka pa. Lumog kasi yung sawa sa lugaw. Huwag ka huwag kumakain ako lugaw. Huwag ka huwag kumakain ako lugaw. Huwag ka huwag kumakain ako lugaw. Hindi nyo pinapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapag